cats and the long wiccan. Wait, yuck. Henry and his Henry and Henry's big dog Mars woke up on one Saturday in February to look outside. Yuck, said Henry. It was gray. It was cold. It was muddy and wet. No sun, Henry said. No snow. Just yuck. Wait, yuck. Mars ran to August Henry and Drew. What are we going to do all weekend? Henry asked. Much rain rained harder. How will we have some fun? Henry grumbled. Much rain harder still. What a boring weekend! Henry grumbled. <coughs> Much let go and ran all the way. Run! Henry yelled. Henry, Marge fled Henry like a pancake. How are we going to get up? Henry wondered. Bored. Henry and Marge had a boring breakfast. They watched some boring cartoons. They listened to Henry's father some boring jokes. Boy, this is boring. Henry said Henry. What are we going to do? She asked. Marge knew what to do. Mars always knew what to do if there was nothing interesting to eat, nothing interesting to smell, and nothing interesting to chew. He went to sleep. Oh, no, Marge, said Henry, giving him a push. Wake up. Mars sat up. He wanted to stay awake. He tired to stay awake, but everything was so boring that he couldn't. His eyes kept closing, his head kept nodding, his mouth kept drooling. Exciting dog you have there, said Henry's father. She's bored, said Henry. Much is bored, I'm bored. Boy, this is boring, Henry's father fretted. February pranks, he asked. Henry nodded. Winter one piece, and then nodded again. Please bring means okay, Dad, okay. Henry said, Boy, you are bored, said Henry's father. The three of them sat. Their eyes kept closing, their head kept nodding, and one of their mouths kept drooling. Miss Mother saw them. Goodness, she said, This is going to be a long record. Then she had an idea. The idea. I have an idea. Henry's mother said. Henry opened his eyes. Henry's father sat up, but Mars kept on sleeping. He didn't care much about ideas. Not until the ideas smelled like something. Let's make a castle, said Henry's mother. A castle, said Henry's father. We still have the box the new refrigerator came in. And the box the new stove came in. Henry was getting the idea. And the things that Uncle Arthur gave me, said Henry. Let's do it. They headed for the basement. Mars was still trying to sleep. But when he heard a voice in the basement, he woke up fast. Mars loved the basement. It has a million of new smells. It has lots of place to slide. And some of his old dog toys were down there. Come on, Mars! Henry called, but Mars already on his way down in the basement. Let's have it has it has to have darkness and his father's is a drawbridge and butterless and flags that said Henry. It's just a refrigerator box 
Not so long. The Chinese father. Henry ran upstairs for his castle work. Henry's mother ran upstairs for pencils. Henry's father ran upstairs for a sampler. And Mars ran upstairs for a quick snack. They all looked at each other in the kitchen. How do we get all how do we all get up here again? asked Henry's father. When they got back to the basement, Henry opened up his castle book. Let's make this one, he said. Henry's father took a look. Henry's mother took a look. Okay, they said. One of them drew, one of them cut, one of them stamped. And one of them went for looking for an old boot he used to chew. They all worked a long time until somebody said, Is anyone hungry? Order a pizza, said Henry's father. We can't stop now. They worked all night longer until the pizza came. They, then they stopped and ate pizza while they stopped at the castle they were building. They each imagined how would how it would look when it was done. For the rest of the uh, the afternoon, they cut out fancy windows and fancy doors. They cut out pins and brushes and flags. Much chewed his old boots like crazy. An evening came Henry finally had crawled into bed. He couldn't hardly wait to finish the castle. He couldn't he could hardly wait for more long weekend. Up. He looked outside. Wait, yuck, he said. But he didn't care. We have a castle to finish, he told much. Henry and Henry's father ate some cold cereal and ran to the basement. Henry's mother stayed in the kitchen to read the morning paper. She was always better at thinking of ideas than finishing them. Besides, she said, you have to have somebody to surprise. Henry and Henry's father painted the castle all morning. While they worked, Mars left school drives and paints, can, paint cans and dirty rags and beach balls and Christmas decoration and a stuffed turkey. He also tried to eat a spider, but he missed. Henry and Henry's father were very quiet. They wanted to pay attention. They wanted to do a great job. Every now and and then Henry's mother would call out, Is there life down there? Finally, close to lunchtime, Henry looked at his father. His father looked at him. Well, they both said, Come look, come look. They called up the stairs. Henry's mother went to the top of the stairs. Not yet, not yet, they called. She waited. Okay, okay, they called. She went down the stairs and there she saw the most beautiful castle and the most beautiful knight and the most beautiful king she'd ever seen. They all spent a long time admiring the castle. They took turns sitting in. They stuck their heads 
through its windows. They open and close its doors. They roll it through a bridge over and over. Henry was red. He, he gave his parents a big hug. He gave Mudge a big hug. What a weekend, said Henry. The king gave him a big hug. What a great king.